boys. Today we have something kind of interesting. Um, some of you may know about this product already, but some of the people who have come to this game a little later may not even know these exist. So I have three Final Fantasy TCG demo kits. Um, these were released a long time ago. I'm not sure if Square Enix is still printing these, but back then uh, they would give these out to LGS owners, and I've heard many cases where the LGS owners literally just give them out for free to kind of get people interested in the game. Um, I got these off eBay. They're pretty cheap. They were like 10 bucks each, and um, they do actually have some unique cards in here that you can't get anywhere else. They're not particularly valuable, but um, I can show you those as well. And uh, shout out to Conkwe, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's been doing a lot of these um, forum posts on physical print differences in cards, so Conkwe, that's your shout out. Uh, his posts have been very helpful to me in the past when I first started collecting. But um, basically, yeah, I'm going to open one of these up. Let's see, which is the most beat up looking one here? I'll keep these mint ones just in case one day they become valuable. So this one kind of has a, a gash on the surface, so I'll do this one. Now let's look at it. This is a demo kit. It's really small. Like, uh, when I first got it shipped, I thought I got it by mistake. It's smaller even than like a regular Final Fantasy TCG starter deck. It's like a deck of cards, basically. Now what does it contain? Two pre-constructed 30-card decks. Um, the interesting thing here is that Final Fantasy TCG decks are 50 cards, so it's not even really a valid deck. So it's really just meant to get people interested in the game. So that's the uh, starter deck, or demo deck. I don't even think it qualifies as a starter deck. Now let's open this bad boy up and see what's inside. Alright. Now then. As always, it has like the starter decks, this kind of little piece of paper in here. Alright, so let's see what's on this. Final Fantasy Trading Card Game Starter Guide. Deck must contain exactly 50 cards. It's funny that they say that and they only give you 30 cards in each of the two decks. I assume that's to cut costs. So, I mean, this is very similar to all the other instruction guides. I'm not going to dwell on it too much. Um, yeah, more information about the field zone. So I guess it's helpful for people who have never played the game before. Otherwise, um, you can kind of ignore it. But I mean, again, this was meant for people to like introduce people to Final Fantasy TCG who have never played the game before. Obviously, they would consider this helpful. So we'll put that off to the side. And let's look at these sealed decks. So again, like they're so thin. There's only 30 cards in each of these. Um, I always fail. Oh, wait. I see like a strip here. People always make fun of me because I fail on opening these things, but I think I see you. Yes, there is a, sh a strip here somewhere. Got him. All right. That's actually very helpful. So, oh, ripped it right off. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and watch this. Um, oh, no, it fell apart this time. I was wrong. I thought it was going to hold together in place by its own because sometimes these uh, starter decks are kind of like stuck together so tight that I'm able to hold just the top card and it doesn't even fall apart. Of course, when I want to show you guys that, it falls right open. Man. Probably going to fast forward this in editing. I hate these things, really. There we go. Got it. Am I the only one who sucks at this? Like, I can never open these damn things. I'm not being very careful with these, but again, the cards in here are not that valuable, so it doesn't matter. So, it comes with two decks, so I guess the idea is that, um... They give this out to like a person and uh, they kind of hope that they introduce their friends to it, that the two of them would play each other. Now let's go through quickly over the cards in one of these demo decks. And again, nothing in here is going to be that special. So it's all Opus 1 cards. Again, I don't know if these were ever reprinted. Oh wait, here's the one I'm talking about. Let's see, the cardstock feels kind of weird. 
almost feels like it's like a lower quality card stock than normal. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Red 8, so they even have starter cards in here. That's interesting, so I guess that's an exception to the rule that non-foil starters are typically only in the starter decks. There's also a few in the demo decks. So again, if you know these cards, you know that none of these are particularly high value ones. Red Mage. I mean, again, you can't even play this legally because it's only 30 cards. Certainly not meant for competitive players. It's literally just meant to get people into the game who have never played before. Belias the Gika, so they do have a rare in here. So that's the fire deck. Now let's check out the lightning deck with lightning right on the front. There's a million variants of her. So again, all Opus 1 cards. Kate Sif. So it's like play sets of each. I assume these were printed after, so you can tell these are not first wave um, Ramses because the blade is not crossing the neck. So I don't know when they printed these. I don't know if they printed these during the first wave, so if there are demo decks with wave 1 cards. But certainly there are demo decks with wave 2 cards, because you're looking at one right now. Ninja, stuck together, Summoner, Red Mage, Sage, and Cyclops, so no starter cards in this one, and Odin is our rare. All right, so those are the two cards, and um, so I said that these cards have unique cards that you can't get anywhere else, and uh, this, again, was inspired by Conquay's post, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys. If you saw my Heroes and Villains unboxing, I kind of referenced this before about how the cards, some of the cards in there are unique depending on what opus it's from. But I wanted to show you this. So Cloud is a good example. So this Cloud, you can't get outside of a demo deck. And uh, that might be weird, but let me just go ahead and show you a real Wave 2, or not real, but a Wave 2 cloud from a booster box. So I pulled this out of my binder. You notice how they're different? Again, for the reprint things, like here you see like the job or the game category is 7. It's on the same bar with the word soldier, right? Here you kind of have like the Opus 4 and on Onwards format where they have a separate like block on top of the uh, class bar that kind of shows you the category. So here it's on the same bar. I actually think this way looked better than this. And here they have like a separate gold line going over kind of showing you the category. Now some of the cards aren't only in this demo deck because um, I don't know where it is. Uh, let's see. Red Mage. I think Red Mage was in Heroes and Villains, and he does have this format. So theoretically, you can get this style of Red Mage from either the Demo deck or the Heroes and Villains deck. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that Red Mage was in the Heroes and Villains set. But like Cloud and uh, Tifa, Tifa is also a card where you can't get this style of it anywhere else except the Demo decks. Like here, again... You'll look, this is my double sleeve one from my binder. You'll notice that that 7, Final Fantasy 7, is to the right of Martial Artist. Here, it's to the right and above in its own category. So this is the kind of stuff that some people may care about, some people may not. Again, I'm not saying that these cards will ever be valuable. I think these will only be marginally more valuable than the regular ones, like... It's still common, I think easily even like years from now, this won't be worth very much because as far as I know, there are a lot of demo decks out there. Now the demo decks sealed may actually end up having some value in the future. Not a lot, like it'd be more for like uh, collectible purposes because um, opening up the packs, you already know what's inside and nothing in it is that valuable. But sometimes old sealed product does have some value just because people think it's cool to own something like this. But again, don't invest in a bunch of these or anything because don't expect these things to be like hundreds of dollars. I think at its peak, people may want to pay like 40 to 50 bucks for it. Right now, it's like 10 to 20. But again, um, if you're like a, an OCD collector like I am and you like having all of the variants of the cards, 
then you will need to get a demo deck to get this version of some of the cards. Now the exception to that is if they do Opus 1 reprints and they reprint it in this new style. But uh, even with the reprints where, you know, you guys might be aware of like the Leon and the Yuna erratas being kind of implemented, even in those, they don't have this template change. So it remains to be seen if they'll ever switch Opus 1, 2, 3 to that format if they ever reprint it. My guess is no, and if that's the case, this is the only place to get these kind of revised templated cards. So uh, anyways, that was a quick little unboxing video for you guys who are not familiar with the demo kits. If you want to buy one of them, just look it up on eBay. There's some on Amazon, but it's overpriced, so I suggest buying it on eBay. And they do pop up every once in a while for like $10 to $20. Or if you're on like uh, near an LGS that supports FFTCG, honestly, some of them give them out for free. I don't know if that's still the case. Um, it'll depend on whether SE's been kind of giving these out, but back then they used to. So I hope you enjoyed this video, um, especially if you didn't know these things existed. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys.